All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yet another. And listen, man, the weekend is now over. I know I'm late a day. Heater Hives will be returning to Sundays this week. Just want to let you know. But the weekend is now over, so you already know what time it is. It's time to get into this week's Heat Four. Hi, right, before we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything we want to talk about in the sneaker or street world world, that is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or was just that basura. That, I did not want to expose y'all to it, but this week, of course, y'all sent me in some stuff, and we have the World Heavyweight Basuda Champ back in the building, delivering us the Basuda, hot and fresh out the oven once again, and, well, you'll be seeing it, and of course, I'm going to expose you to it. This week, I got another important release reminder. Y'all should see it already. Y'all already know what time it is. It is flannel season, and there is a new sample flannel, the OG Rose joint, dropping this Saturday, the 27th, 8 p.m. EST. Follow at S-M-P-L-I-N-D. You already know. We dropped another Cactus Blossom flannel, and y'all sold it out again. So, salute. We dropped the OG Rose flannel. That joint is almost out of here. I think it's a couple mediums left. And I wanted to combine both of those ideas together, so if y'all see it right here, blam, I'm wearing it right now. This is the OG Rose flannel, but with those updated new materials that more heavier wool blend material that I've been using on some of the newer Cactus Blossom flannels. And I'll get a little bit close up so y'all can see the detail. Y'all can see the material, how thick the actual material is on this joint. And of course, if this is the OG Rose flannel, you got him with that RVD on the back, the sample with the rose embroidery. Y'all should already know the deal by now, 8 p.m. this Saturday. Be there or, well, be square because that shit can sell out quick. The link will be down below if y'all want to check that out. But that's all I got for this week. Make sure you drop a like on this bit. Sub up if you haven't already. What are you doing? And make sure to finesse the bell as well. And let's get into this week's heat or hype. <laughs> First off this week, I'm going to start off a little bit different. We are going to start off with some slight street wear, and that is going to be the brand new Supreme Drop Supreme Week 1 of Spring Summer 2021 did drop. And if you didn't know already, obviously I haven't really been picking up any Supreme over the past year or so. But this week I did go for the Cause Box logo. Some of the puppers were hard as well. And the Big E.T. was dope too. I'm pretty sure some sizes in those Supreme Air Force 1s also restocked, but... Y'all already know how I feel about those. So the one and only thing I was really going for was the Cause Box logo. Tried on my phone, tried on a desktop, was not able to get it, but you know, resale isn't too crazy. Especially for a box logo, I need an XL and it's like 300 to 400, 350, 400, something like that. I may end up copying one, but to be honest, I don't even want to spend 350. I just wanted to get one for retail, but you know, it's Supreme. It's a box logo. It is what it is. Now, another release that dropped was actually on the 19th, and that was an undefeated and Converse collab that I had no idea about. This one definitely flew under the radar. This is like the fundamentals pack. There's a white and blue, as well as a black and blue. Both colorways pretty plain, to be honest. For me personally, though, neither one of these colorways would have been a cop anyways. So even though I missed it, I'm definitely good. My favorite thing about these would probably be the undefeated logo on the side of the missile. Now a weird shoe that I ran across this week while I was putting together the list was this brand new pair of Air Max 95s. Now they don't look too different at first, but once you see it, you'll definitely see it. It's the laces. Now there's no official name for this newer version of the 95 just yet. There's not a release date or a retail price. I mean, all that's really changed seems to be the way that they lace the shoe. So it shouldn't be too far off from the regular 95 retail. This was just one of those one-off things that I saw. I don't want to know what you guys think about them. I don't think they're too bad. Would I take them over a regular 95? No. Another pair of 95s that I saw that I believe is restocking is the De Lo Mio pair of 95. This was a hard one that dropped last year in 2020. Now they are going to be dropping again on Nike sneakers on the 27th. So if you missed them the first time, didn't want to pay wherever the resale was, they will be dropping once again. And this is a hard pair of 95s. I didn't really see any reports on this, so I just want to make sure to bring this up in case someone was still looking for a pair. Another collab we got for this week is Atmos, Staple, as well as Puma on a Puma suede. And these are being called the Pigeon and the Crow Puma suede. Now for this shoe, in particular this one's pretty fresh pretty new and we don't even have a full image of the shoe yet but 
from this teaser photo right here, you can kind of tell what they're going for. You got the staple pigeon. I'm assuming that at most will be the black crow on the other shoe. This cream color or this gray color, black suede, the pink hits, regular staple stuff. I believe Jeff Staple actually put out a video on his own Instagram of this shoe. That's the first time I had ever seen it. So I'm expecting that we're going to get more and more info. We're going to get those release details and the retail info pretty soon. Just right now, we don't got it yet. Jumping into some Nike basketball news, we actually have a brand new pair of LeBron 7s dropping. Now these ones are in an LA Dodgers colorway and they are dropping tomorrow on the 23rd. So if you like this shoe, I hope you watched it in time. Although I don't really see this colorway selling out. Compared to some of the other LeBron 7 colorways, this one is definitely not the best, but they're not bad at all. And there's actually some extra details on these where you have the palm tree leaves going around the shoe on the blue. It's a brand new LeBron 7 in an LA themed colorway. I'm pretty sure eventually these are gonna go now it's a new week so y'all already know we got new dunks to talk about and the first one is a nike dunk low flip the old school now this shoe is actually based off of two older pairs of dunk highs and this is the city attack pair which was purple and white and in both shoes you can see that the colorway is reversed just like the city attack pair now this one is a bit different the first big thing you're gonna notice is the flip swoosh to some people that's gonna bother them to me doesn't really bother me at all and there's also kind of like this synthetic ostrich looking leather on the upper all in all i'm not mad at this pair would i have rather the left shoe and the right shoe be the same color blocking yes but i do like the flip swoosh on these ones and they are different enough for me to probably go for them. now there is a weird thing about this shoe when you first get it they're gonna come covered in paper which is well, we're going to talk about another shoe a little bit later with the same kind of idea. So if you do get this shoe, please make sure to remove the paper off the tops of them before you walk out the house looking crazy out here. We got another collab to talk about this week. It is the Whitaker Group and Nike or Social Stats and Nike on the Nike Waffle 1. Now this shoe is going to be only limited to 500 pairs. It is going to be dropping the day after my birthday this Friday on the 26th and the retail will be 120. So if you do want this shoe, I would recommend to go check out the social status IG to see if they're gonna be doing some type of online raffle, doing tickets, who knows. The shoe itself kind of put me in the mind frame of the like dyed a cold wall Vimeros just a little bit with the sole. Seems to be some type of like see-through upper on these as well. Some weird uses of materials, definitely not one of my favorite collabs for 2021, but still not a bad pair at all. So if you do go for these, good luck. Now we do have two brand new pairs of Yeezy 350 V2s on the way this weekend as well. Now they're gonna retail at 220, releasing on the 27th, but each pair is going to be region locked. Now the Ash Blue pair is gonna release in North America, Latin America, Africa, the Middle East, and India. Now as far as the Ash Stone colorway, they're gonna be dropping in Europe, the Asia Pacific, Russia and Ukraine. As far as where they're going to be releasing, as far as the US goes, I believe it's going to be on the adidas.com forward slash Yeezy as well as the confirmed app. And then in other places, it will be on the Adidas app. So Ash Pearl, Ash Stone, y'all got where they're going to be dropping at. I told y'all before that I like both the Ash Blue and the Ash Stone. Yes, the Stone pair is another tan Yeezy, but I think it looks pretty well done with this one. And I'm definitely not mad at the blue pair either. Will I be going for them though? More than likely not. This is gonna be a pass for me. Jumping into some JB news, we have the Red Flint Air Jordan 13. That is what they're being called now. These are gonna be dropping on May 1st. Full family sizing, of course, retailing for $190 in men's size. Y'all already know how crazy it got for the regular Flints last year. You throw red on them they're still gonna do the same thing. This is definitely one people have been waiting on, a new colorway in the Air Jordan 13 based off of, you know, the flints this, this time, they're red. These are gonna be selling out with no problem, trust me. So if you are going for them, I will remind y'all close to the release, but May 1st is the official release date. As of right now, it could get delayed. Another crazy pair of dunks we got for this week is the City Market Dunk Low. These are actually dropping on March 4th, very, very soon, next month. And these are giving me heavy, heavy, heavy community gardens vibes. That was a pair of dunks that I really liked. And these ones being called the City Market, you can see where they got the inspiration from all over the shoe. Different materials, different patterns, different colors. There's just a ton of stuff going on. And that might not be for everybody, but for me, this is gonna be a dunk that I am definitely going for. Now, y'all already know how it goes with very, very unique dunks, especially fire dunks, in my opinion, at least like this one. These will be definitely selling out, and I feel like people might be trying to crack heads for these for sure. March 4th is the date, and I am going 
be hoping for some sneakers luck on these joints right here. I will definitely, definitely be going for them. Last week, we were talking about a brand new Yeezy 350 V2 called the Covalite. Now, this week, we have an update, and it seems to actually be a Yeezy 380. Blam, y'all see him right here. And the colorway isn't as horrible as some of the other 380s, but the gum outsole, and it's either really, really dark navy blue or black upper. This is gonna be another easy, easy pass as far as the Yeezy 380 goes. Again, it's definitely not the worst colorway in the 380s, but the mystery has been solved, or at least we think so. This is still a rumor, still a leak, but this should be that Covalite Yeezy on the way, and the release date should be March 15th on these. Now this next bit of news, another one hot and fresh off the press, a brand new Air Jordan 4 on the way, and this is the Tech Gray Air Jordan 4. As of right now, these should be dropping in May, and this is gonna be a small fee gang release, women's sizing only. Now we don't know just yet if they will be releasing an extended women's sizing, and even if they say they're gonna release an extended women's sizing, that might not happen. Silver Toe Air Jordan 1s, Nike sneakers, I was there when they dropped. Y'all did not have them in this sizes for y'all, gang. But this pair of 4 seems to be a pure money Air Jordan 4 mixed with the white cement 4. And in my opinion, for a brand new 4 colorway, these are actually pretty hard. Some people were saying that the Jumpman on the tongue was kind of throwing them off, but I feel like the Jumpman has been on the tongue, like that really small Jumpman logo on another release or another older retro that I just couldn't really think of. If I didn't have white cement fours, I didn't want to spend resale and I could wear small feet gang sizes, this would be a cop for me, especially for the summertime this year. Y'all let me know down below though what y'all are thinking about these right here. Again, my opinion, these are fire, this would be a cop. This week we also got another look at the Sean Witherspoon ZX8000, this Super Earth pair his collab he's been working on. I'm assuming that these are gonna be dropping very, very soon. We'll be getting more and more images of them. And we finally have this on feet photo. Of course, the shoe is always gonna look better on small feet. This is definitely a small feet gang on foot photo. This whole crazy colors and patterns with like the exposed stitching, the hanging threads all over the place is definitely not gonna be for everybody, but I'm not mad at this shoe at all. Now I'm gonna keep it short on this one since we have already been talking about, but from this on foot photo, they're still looking pretty good. This week we're also getting a new colorway in the Kid Cudi and Adidas Veda Wom 326. This one seems to be more of a brown, white, blue, red. It's an interesting color blocking that's going on with this one. And even though I don't really like this colorway better than the black or the original white colorway, I probably will be trying to go for these regardless because I do want to try out a pair of the Kid Cudi and Adidas collab. Y'all should know I am a fan of Cudi and I did miss out on the original two pairs. I think I just woke up too late on that day and just missed it. This week we also got some updates on brand new Yeezy models on the way. This first one being this Yeezy 1020 boot. Now before we had got the leaked image of the shoe and now we seem to have official photo. And yes, it is an orange, very, very orange pair of boots, but all it's gonna take is for someone to pull on the right fit or for Kanye to step out the whip with some good denim on and a nice fleece and they're out of here, it's all it's gonna take. The orange on this one is definitely gonna throw people off, of course, on a boot, but whenever this shoe does decide to drop, I am definitely gonna be going for it. Now this week we do have some light box suit for the list and this first one some of y'all definitely sent me and when I first saw this shoe, I was like, yo, these, there is no way they did this, okay? So, bland. This shoe right here is being called the Air Force One Keep Em Fresh. Or I think it's like Timeless Classic Keep Em Fresh. And yes, you are seeing that right. It is a pair of Air Force Ones with ripped up tissue paper. When I seen it, I was like, there's no way that Nike really did this. There's no way people are gonna be stepping outside with the tissue paper attached to their shoe. In this form right here, yes, this shoe is 1000% Basura. If you step outside with them like this, you are a different type of person. You are in a different type of time. Now the thing is, is that this tissue paper is removable and it's easily removable. You take it off the top and you get these right here, which is a basically pre-aged pair of Air Force Ones. I'm sure y'all have seen all of the pre-aged customs and different shoes that people have been doing. And Nike actually already did the pre-aged look with the Air Max 90s, I believe, or Air Maxes a few years back. Back then, I feel like those shoes were hitting the outlets because that just wasn't a look that people were really digging or liked at that time. But right now, I feel like it would be a perfect time for those type of shoes. Now this shoe right here still would be a pass in my opinion. I mean, 
with Air Forces is different than a Jordan 1. Beat down Air Force 1s don't look as good as beat down pairs of Jordan 1s. And I feel like the same thing goes for an aged Jordan 1 versus an aged Air Force 1. I feel like these forces right here are as far as you really need to go with the whole aging as far as forces go because dirty forces, beat up forces, it just they just don't look good i'm sorry so if you did see this shoe with the paper on top well that's what the shoe actually is okay it is time to get into this week's basura of the week have you ever wanted to look like you worked at the hospital but you really didn't have you ever wanted to spend 530 dollars on just the shoe with the footwear to look like that well if you answered yes to either one of those questions margella is here with your answer and for five hundred and thirty dollars you could own these shits right here Blink. somebody did this this right here is the mason margella i told y'all the world heavyweight basuda champ is in the building margella is in the building with this brand new slip on mule and in the middle of a panoramic who would have known that Margell would have come through to save us with $530 pairs of surgical slip-on slides with leather guts, suede outsoles, you know, real premium basura for your toes. I don't know how they do it every year, every time. They just figure out a way to throw the basura in. And next week, because this shoe just popped up on Monday, y'all know I hold the shoes from Monday through the rest of the week for this Sunday's heater hype, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now, they get even nastier. Margella gets even nastier with the next one, but I am going to hold on to that one for this week's or next week's or the next heater hype. Trust me. Y'all already know what to do. Give me three words to describe the panoramic force from Mason Margella right here, and that is going to be the basuda of the week. Let's go ahead and just get these shits off the screen because we need to go ahead and get back to the heat, bro. Next up, a shoe that I have been waiting on is finally here on March 10th for $110 retail, the Syracuse Dunk High is gonna be returning. I held off for all this time, never copped the Dunk Lows because I didn't wanna pay the resale, and now I have a chance on Nike sneakers, and I will definitely be taking that chance on March 10th. It's actually a lot of heat dropping in March. This week we got news of another brand new Yeezy colorway. This time it is on the Yeezy Quantum, and that is the Flora colorway. Now before when we had the mockups, it was like an all over bright orange pair of Quantums, but this is what the shoe is actually gonna look like. Very, very close to the OG, and in my opinion, it's probably top three of the best colorways of the quantum that we've seen so far maybe even a second to the original i think the original is still the best i think the barium is another nice one the blue ones are straight too but this colorway in this more kind of burnt orange bronze colorway super super clean in my opinion now these should be dropping in may retail will still be 250 and for right now that's all the info we got now we got one more yeezy to talk about this week and this is the brand new yeezy 450 formerly known as the Yeezy 451. Now this cloud white colorway of the Yeezy 450 is gonna be dropping on March 4th on Yeezy Supply. It's the OG colorway, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a Yeezy Supply exclusive. So if you have been waiting for the Yeezy dumplings, they will be on the way again on March 4th. As for my opinion of the shoe, from what I've seen so far, the shape looks kinda of weird, especially off the toe. Maybe the shoe is gonna look a little bit better on feet, but so far, I'm not really a fan. It definitely seems like a big departure from some of the other Yeezy stuff. All the other Yeezy stuff kinda of looks like Yeezys. These just look like some Man, they just kind of look like some weird shit. Now, in some big collab news, we actually had Ama Manier come through with Jordan on a brand new Air Jordan 3. Seems to be a white with gray suede where their usual elephant print is. And it kind of has that aged look on the outsole around the leather. The trim of the leather has that like aged kind of looked as well. And I definitely say my favorite thing about this shoe is like the satin silk gray quilted guts on the inside. A very, very nice premium touch on this Air Jordan 3. And you also got their logo on the left shoe as well. I don't really see a lot of talk about this shoe right now. When it initially dropped, when you suppose it initially dropped, there was kind of like a buzz, but I feel like the hype is definitely gonna grow and grow and grow as we get more info about this shoe. And just from these photos, like the quality of materials look like it's definitely gonna be on point. This is how it is gonna look. Other than that, there is no info just yet. And they go ahead and wrap it up for this week. 
there is more Travis Scott, Cactus Jack, and Fragment news. Trav was spotted in another new pair of Fragment Air Jordan 1s. Now y'all can see the mock-up right here. This is done by Z Sneakerheads, but the actual photo of him in the shoe should be up here on the screen as well for you to see. And this one is a high top version of the Fragment Air Jordan 1 with the reverse swoosh, with the sail on the midsole and the outsole. Very, very similar to the low tops that we seen last week. It is going to be a problem and heads are gonna be getting bust open way past the white me for sure on this shoe if it was up to me i would take the high top over the low top every time but i would be the first to tell you that i'm not pressed for a cactus jack fragment jordan one i'll take one or the other i don't really need both of them together but hey it is what it is listen that is going to be it for this week y'all can let me know down below did you copy anything or did you save all the money in the pockets remember that is always a good option make sure you drop a like sub up if you haven't already and finesse the bell as well new sample drop this saturday 8 p.m est follow at smplind links will be down below for that much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud twitch the twitch is bullet rc by the way here there buzz about of course i ain't got no shoes right now so bullet rc and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video early heat is on the way this week be looking out it is time for me to go edit much love i am out of here peace if you come here trying to take some there's a lot more where that came from and it really ain't no thing i got some up here in this thing i just dropped the jig in my red bull and it really gave me wings yeah yeah up and away y'all should have seen this shit coming in may we're doing 300 records a day who really think they can get it